I suppose Press Week is most famous is this is where the Open yeah, yeah. This is where major championship golf yeah. started. Yeah. Where did it all begin? Well, Presswick Golf Club was formed in 1851. It's one of the oldest golf clubs in the world. We're always very careful what we claim because golf clubs have a habit of finding bits of paper that either prove or disprove different things. We think we're about the 23rd or 24th oldest club in the world. A man called James Ogilvy Fairley. Yes. Um, he'd been captain of the RNA, he'd, so he'd gone up to St Andrews a lot to play golf. He'd become friendly with Tom Morris um, and he persuaded Morris to come down to Presswick to lay out the original 12 hole golf course. Yeah. So, golf club was formed, a number of like minded gentlemen met in the Red Lion Inn yep. and they agreed to form a club. Uh, Tom Morris came down from St Andrews, mm. um, I think he was slightly unemployed at that point, he'd right. fallen out with Alan Robertson yeah. who he had worked for as an apprentice feathery ball maker um, and they played a lot of golf together but Morris made the cardinal sin from Robertson's point of view of having played with a gutty ball, a gutty percher so ball. He saw that as a, a rival, as a, rival, as yeah. a threat to his trade as a, yeah. a feathery maker. So Morris left the employ of Robertson. Do you know what, I think in some ways already at uh, the third hole, which is named Cardinal, uh, it sort of encapsulates everything that Presswick is all about. It's, um, people use this word quirky, and uh, from what I've seen over the last couple of days, it's certainly its character as well, I would explain it as, and if you manage to get a drive away on this hole, then you're left with a, a real dilemma. You've got this wall of sleepers, huge bunkering, um, and very much a dog leg, a sharp dog leg from left to right, and you've got a hit sort of over the angle, if you like, and the green over there in the distance. It's, uh, it's a fantastic golf hole, and that's hole only hole number three. If you've played this course before, you'll certainly remember Himalayas. If you haven't played this course before, you've probably heard of Himalayas. And it's a great par three. It's very much blind. You play over this wall of sleepers and your guide is depending on which tee box you stood on, you either aim for the blue or the white sleeper. And then you walk over the top, you keep your fingers crossed and you hope for the very best. What I think there were you telling me the tale of you, uh, whoever persuaded uh, old Tom Morris to come from St Andrews over yep. to Presswick. The thing that, what, what, what would have happened if he didn't? I mean, none of this, not that, that whole story just stops there, doesn't it? it, it the it, Open it, doesn't it, exist. It, or Well, who, know, who yeah, knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, thankfully, it did happen, yeah, yeah. you know. But it's, you know, life's a little, there's a lot of ifs and buts. Of course, yeah. Um, and it was just... You know, it was kismet, I think, yeah, that, 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 was to, me, yeah. that was to happen. As Ken says, it was meant to be. Right, David, the thing that interests me is that you are only the seventh professional golfer since the 1851 inception, yeah. is that right? That's right, yeah. Bit of an honour, eh? It is a privilege, it's unbelievable, really. If you think following the footsteps of old Tom and all the other you yeah. know, professionals, I mean, the, Frank Rennie was a pro here before I started for 42 years, so 
Yeah, it's incredible, really. Yeah. Never, never forget it. It's awesome. And and your pro shop is quite different than uh, back in 1851 yeah. and online sales and all I know. things like that. And we've definitely had to diversify, you know, especially in the last year or so. Uh, I mean, the pro shop is the welcome hub for people coming and checking in. We've gone yeah. online and we're selling stuff online um, best we can. And yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's amazing, yeah. really. Now the Isle of Arran is uh, pretty visible from many vantage points across the course and although you don't see the sea, you can certainly hear it. Right, Eagle Putt and uh, I've never done that with a camera switched on. I haven't done it many times with the camera switched off, I'll be honest with you. Oh, jeez. I still haven't done it with the camera switched on. Ah, I thought I had that. Okay, so two of my favorite holes are two of the holes that I've actually found the toughest to play. And that's 13 and 15. 13, fairly narrow off the tee, but it's more about the undulations and where your ball pitches and where it finishes are two totally different places and then you play into a really narrow green if you don't get that yardage spot on then the likelihood is you're going to fall back and then you play 15 which is called narrows and it's exactly that it's one of the tightest fairways you'll play to if you do find that short stuff you've got a short iron in but the green again slopes all the way from front to back and uh, whew, it is tough we have a very interesting thing in our minute book um, which I have here that the club committee met the night before that second open because the first one had almost been an invitation event because we'd written to the clubs to send their best golfer yeah but is, in this, the, is this an, an original book this or? is the club's first ever wow. minute book um, and it was unanimously resolved that the challenge belt tomo tomorrow and on mm. all future occasions until it be otherwise resolved shall be open to all the world and that otherwise the regulations remain as previously fixed. So that's, I think, the first time we've seen the, the expression, the open. Yeah, yeah. Go. 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 Presswick is a far cry from the course originally laid in 1851. It is one of the most unique golf courses I have ever played. It's a course that makes you stop and think on pretty much every shot. An approach shot onto the wrong side of the green is likely to be gathered by those notorious bunkers. Choosing the wrong line off the tee will mean cambers will determine where your ball comes to rest. As I mentioned with uh, the fifth hole Himalayas, if you've played here before, the one thing you'll remember is the 17th, which is Alps, which is still the oldest championship go golf hole still in play to this day. An original green as well. And you'll see from the drone footage, there's a big surprise waiting for you over that hill. So you play this one blind, and then over the other side, as you've just seen, is a pretty big bunker. So you don't want to be short. We've got over the middle marker, turned it over a little bit. I've got a feeling that just might be in that bunker. But we avoided the bunker. And we just managed to get a uh, fringe. What a great golf hole. One that you don't forget playing.
Um, well, the original belt, when, when the members put that forward as a prize, they said if anyone wins the belt three years in succession, it will become their property. Yeah. And Tommy Morris, young Tom, won in 1868, 1869, and then again in 1870. So the he, belt, he won the belt. Yeah. Um, and that actually gave the club a bit of a problem the following year in 1871. The three clubs each paid £10 to buy a trophy. Right. And, and it's the golf, the golf Champion Trophy. Right. Everyone calls it the Claret Jug. But it's the Golf Champion Trophy. It's the Golf trophy. Champion Trophy. Right. And that's what's inscribed in the trophy. Now, th this is a replica. Yes. The, the original is uh, with the RNA. So the Open was played again in 1872, and lo and behold, it was won by Tommy again. So he won four successive Opens. It took him five years to do it, yeah. but he won four successive Opens. The only problem was agreement with the RNA and the Honourable Company had only been reached quite shortly before the event was being played. So the trophy wasn't ready. And instead, they each paid to get a gold medal struck. Right. And Tommy was presented with a gold medal, which had golf champion trophy, 1872, and his score. And that tradition's continued to yeah, this yeah. day. You know, when now Martin Slumbers announces the winner of the yeah. Open. He's not the Open champion. No. He's the winner of the gold medal. Yeah. And he's the champion golfer of the year. Yeah, yeah. The older I get, the more I appreciate what those have done before me. In all walks of life, there are individuals who have laid the foundations for what we now take for granted. I can't help but feel indebted to old Tom Morris and his fellow pioneers who met in the Red Lion pub and to the golf course that gave life to the competition we now know as the Open. The names of the holes at Preswick are every bit as unique as the course itself, but it is the perhaps lesser known sixth hole, Elysian Fields, which is the most pertinent. In Greek mythology, Elysium Fields was said to be the paradise to which heroes on whom the gods granted immortality were sent. It would be nice to think that maybe, just maybe, old Tom and his fellow pioneers of this great game continue to walk these hallowed fairways. Mm -hmm.